For years, Saudi Arabia and the UAE have been the two key forces leading an intervention in Yemen. It looked like a coalition-driven effort to defeat an Iran-backed militia, a black-and-white crusade against evil. If you truly care about Arab lives in the region, you'd support allied efforts to prevent Iran from extending its authoritarian rule from Tehran to the Mediterranean Sea and on down to Yemen. But now it has come to this. Riyadh and Abu Dhabi are effectively at war with themselves. It is difficult to overstate the extent of the chaos in Yemen. The number of militias fighting each other, making alliances, breaking them and fighting again. And the proxies of Saudi Arabia and the Emirates are on the different sides of the conflict. Riyadh is supporting the official government, which is struggling to stay politically relevant. Its recognized leader is not even living in Yemen, but rather in Saudi Arabia. Shuttling to and from the country, he technically governs on special occasions. That's as the UAE is in turn backing separatists from the south. And what they want is basically their region to, well, break away from Yemen. Not so black and white anymore. And it gets worse. Al-Qaeda is growing in strength in Yemen. And it has been doing what it does best, reaping the benefits of lawlessness and anarchy. Reportedly, some of the American-made weapons shipped to Saudi Arabia and the UAE have fallen into al-Qaeda's hands, a scenario Washington didn't want to see. The United States has not authorized the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia or the United Arab Emirates to retransfer any equipment to parties inside Yemen. The US government cannot comment on any pending investigations of claims of end-use violations of defense articles and services transferred to our allies and partners. And this is just scraping the very surface of what the Saudi and Emirati intervention in Yemen has led to. And despite all that, Secretary Pompeo says it's all good. The Emiratis have helped, the Saudis have helped. Um, I've spoken to the Crown Prince a number of times. He has leaned in to try and make sure that we get to a political resolution. It'd be nice if Mr. Pompeo could elaborate as to who exactly did they help. Did they help the official government? Did they help the separatists? Or did they perhaps help Al-Qaeda refurbish their arsenal? As the conflict in Yemen wears on, it becomes clearer that while the coalition exists on paper, on the ground, it's every man for himself.